you good? Mm-hmm. Hello my fellow deviants, my name's Jenna, and I'm Andrea, and welcome to eSpot. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified every time we post something new. And with that, let's get started. If you haven't heard, BlizzCon was last week and they had several fantastic announcements for us. One of these is the official announcement for Overwatch 2. This game will include some long-awaited features, such as story missions, it will have hero missions, replayable co-op modes, hero leveling up, and hero customization. For multiplayer, Overwatch 2 will also have new maps, many new heroes, a new PvP game mode named Push, where two teams will compete to have a robot push an objective to the, oppo to the opponent's side. One of the coolest features is that with this game, it has no one gets left behind, which means Overwatch 1 and 2 will have shared multiplayer PvP and it'll also have the cosmetics from the first title carry over to the second title. It is a great relief that dedicated players from the first one, both past and present, will not lose their hard work and not lose their leveling up and all the skills they achieved in the first one. As it stands right now, Overwatch 2 does not have a release date, but we will update you as soon as we know. Another awesome announcement from BlizzCon is Diablo 4. This game, as described by Louis Barga, is going to back to the series Darker Roots. It will be dark, gothic, and medieval. In this title, the world of Sanctuary is very important, and it will be a front and center as well as a seamless landmass. With Diablo 4, you can group and trade with other players and murder each other in PvP zones. The first class available in Diablo 4 will be Barbarian, Sorceress, and Druid. Customization and experimentation can go far thanks to the loot system, talent trees, and skills. There is no release date yet for Diablo 4, but it will release on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Cool. I'll be getting that as soon as it's available. <laughs> In other news, if you're looking for an RPG that fills the void between Bethesda and Bio Bioware design styles, look no further. And Outer Worlds has already been released for a couple weeks now, but great and better news keep being dropped about it. One recent discussion was about the lack of colorblind settings despite the game's large assortment of options in the menus. Obsidian Studio Director, Design Director, Joss Sawyer explains that the entire game was designed to be playable without color information. He went on to note that this decision comes from Tim Kane, one of Obsidian's directors, who has a form of colorblindness. This means he sees near monochrome vision. So as an example of this, the UI uses icons or other indicators to convey vital information rather than using important colors, as games typically have used. On to more great news that kind of has a catch, Zinemax is granting refunds for Fallout 76 due to pressure from Australian Commission. It's great to see refunds succeed, but it was a fight to get them. Zinemax is the parent company to Bethesda, and they have admitted that it was likely to have misled Australian Fallout 76 purchasers about their consumer rights regarding refunds due to players being unhappy with the game's early performance. Zinemax customers, service, and support misled purchasers about the ability to seek refunds, and that conflicts with a right under Australian consumer law. Players that were denied refunds between November 24th, 2018 and January 1st can now reach out and receive a refund in exchange for surrendering access to the game. That is fantastic. Another great title to play right now is the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This recent release is well designed and it refreshes the franchise with cool new ideas and some smart new takes on others that we haven't seen in years for the campaign mode. I don't want to give spoilers, but this takes you into a storyline with twists, heartache, both crushing and uplifting moments, but it still connects to the other titles in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. It's a roller coaster of storytelling, which is part of what makes it so great. The new Call of Duty Modern Warfare has one of the best first person shooter campaigns in that it's released in a long time, and not just exclusive to the Call of Duty series. Well, that's all we have for today. 
We really hope you enjoyed this episode of eSpot. Don't forget to check out our other amazing shows on YouTube, such as Paul's Curious Corner of Controversy, and even stop by the DVSI website and preview what we have coming up in the near future. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, stay, stay devious. devious.